Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon po, ma'am. Before we start, may I call on Miss Jenny to lead the prayer for us? Yes po, ma'am. So everybody, please mute your microphone for our prayer. In the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord God, thank you so much for giving us another day to study and prepare for a better life in the future. Thank you for giving us a chance to continue learning amidst a pandemic which caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless our parents who work hard to support our needs. Bless also our teachers who are doing their best to inspire and guide us especially in these trying times. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give us good memory so that we might understand and remember what we are going to study now. So this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 <clears throat> So good morning and good afternoon again, again, class. So how are you today? We're fine, ma'am. We're good, ma'am. So, I'm glad that you're all okay. So before we start, may I know who's absent today? So once I call your name, please unmute your microphone and say present. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> okay, let's start to Abigail De Vera. Present po. Bobby Raven Rinas. Present, ma'am. Joy Domingo. Present, ma'am. Irene Tosillo. Present, ma'am. Luris Jane Makachag. Luris Jane Makachag. Next, Mark Borbano. Present. Roxel Romero. Rufa May De La Cruz. Present. Tisha J. Suarez. Present po, ma'am. <clears throat> okay, class, very good. All of you are present today. Before we start, I have prepared a short video for you to watch. Please watch the video because after that, I have a question for you. Is it clear, class? Yes, ma'am. Yes, po, ma'am. Okay, let's play the video. One million plant and animal species are at risk of extinction. The problem is, without this biodiversity, humans are in trouble. Biodiversity is the term used to describe the variety of all life on Earth. Earth's species, their characteristics, even their habitats are what maintain the health and resilience of nature. The more biodiversity, the more secure all life is, including ours. Biodiversity is the foundation of all the life on Earth. So we need biodiversity in the form of pollinators to keep our crops growing and to 
produce the food that we need. We need biodiversity to produce all the medicines that we are needing. And we need biodiversity to keep healthy ecosystems to sequester the carbon that we need to combat climate change. In the last 50 years, humans have wiped out 68% of animal populations. Experts say that the planet is undergoing its sixth mass extinction. The biggest die-off of life on Earth since the giant meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs? If that doesn't scare you, consider this. Biodiversity provides everything humanity needs for free. If we were to put a number on it, the value of goods and services provided by biodiversity is estimated to amount to $125 trillion per year. That's more than two-thirds of global GDP. The continued loss of biodiversity affects the food we eat, the water we drink, to say nothing of our economy. Floods, fires, disease outbreaks all have connections to biodiversity loss. Why can't we stop this? And as long as we disturb wild animals and their ecosystems, these viruses will continue jumping into us and causing trouble. Conservationists say that protecting at least 30% of land and 30% of sea on Earth by 2030 is critical for stopping and reversing the loss of species around the globe. The good is that there's a whole suite of tools that we can implement. It's not just about creating national parks and protected areas, although that is important. It's also about integrating the economic value of everything nature gives us into all of our decisions. And it's about partnering with local and indigenous communities. Up to 80% of all plant and animal species and 17% of carbon stored in the world's forests is on indigenous lands. So it's essential that the lands and rights of indigenous people are recognized if we want to save the planet and all of us that call it home. There is hope. We've seen humpback whales recover thanks to an international conservation agreement. We've seen giant pandas recover thanks to restoration of bamboo forests. And we've seen gray wolves recover thanks to federal protections in the U.S. We know nature has an astonishing capacity to rebound. But avoiding future loss of biodiversity isn't enough. We all need to give nature the chance it needs to recover for humanity's sake. Okay, class, did you watch the video? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, ito yung tanong class. What do you think is the importance of biodiversity and human life? Yes, Miss Domingo. Ma'am, I think biodiversity importance in human life because it supports human and societal needs, including food and nutrition security, energy development of medicines and pharmaceuticals and fresh water, which together underpin good health. It also supports economic opportunities and leisure activities that contribute to overall well-being. Very good, Ms. Dungo. Thank you for that wonderful answer. So class, we all know that biodiversity has a big role in our society or in the ecosystem. Do you aware class na mahalaga yung biodiversity sa <clears throat> human life? <clears throat> so now we're going to tackle another interesting Topic. The earth is composed of different features that nurture living things that have a big role in balancing ecological conditions. However, circumstances affect the balance in the ecosystem and biodiversity has a big role in maintaining its balance. So let's start with the learning objectives.
<clears throat> so first, the learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to define biodiversity and evolution. The second one is to explain the importance of biodiversity. The last one is to understand the different theory of evolution. Let's start with the definition of biodiversity. <clears throat> so biodiversity, it is the variety of life found on Earth. It includes every living thing such as plants, bacteria, animals, and humans. However, even if the Earth is rich in biodiversity, there are still a lot of species are in the bridge of extinction due to human activities. So, class, ang biodiversity ay ang pagkakaiba-iba ng isang organismo na namumuhay dito sa ating daigdig. So, nagigets nyo ba, class, kung anong ibig sabihin ng biodiversity? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so next, we have the three levels of biodiversity. The species diversity, the genetic diversity, and the ecosystem diversity. First, let's discuss species diversity. It refers to the variety as well as the abundance of species within a region. The example of this is the fish. Give another example of <laughs> species diversity. Who wants to answer? Yes, Miss Romero. Another example of species diversity is carabao and colored mm. flowers, too, ma'am. Okay, very good, Miss Romero. As, as you can see, the. Nakikita nyo ba class? Yes, po. Yung ano ko, handwritten yes, po, ko. Uh, Hey, the example yes. of species diversity is the fish, carabao, and colored flowers. Okay, next is the genetic diversity. Genetic diversity, it refers to the variation of genes within the species. Miss Makachag, give an example of genetic diversity. One million plant and animal species are at risk of extinction. The problem is, Without this biodiversity, humans are in trouble. Biodiversity is the term used to describe the variety of all life on Earth. Earth's species, their characteristics, even their habitats, are what maintain the health and resilience of nature. The more biodiversity, the more secure all life is including ours. Okay, class, let's continue to the genetic diversity. I'm sorry, nagkaroon ng error. So, it is the variety it refers to the variation of genes within the species. For example, is for example, our dogs. As you can see in the picture class, there are different types of dogs. 
hindi sila magkakapare-pareho ng gene, gene straight. Another example is the mushroom. As you can see naman, may madaming iba't ibang types of mushroom. Aware ba kayo doon, class? Yes, ma'am. Yes po, ma'am. So, let's proceed to last level of diversity. The ecosystem diversity. Ecosystem diversity. We have here the three types of ecosystem diversity. First, the terrestrial ecosystem. The example of terrestrial ecosystem are the desert, tundra, and grassland. So the the ecosystem is a uh, the terrestrial ecosystem is the land-based community organisms. And the second types of ecosystem is the marine ecosystem. The example of marine ecosystem are the coral reef, the and the salt marsh marsh. So the Marine ecosystem are aquatic because water possess a high salt water. So next is the freshwater ecosystem. The example of freshwater ecosystem are river, pond, falls, and lake. So freshwater is generally characterized by having a low concentration of dissolved salt and another dissolved solid. Naintindihan nyo ba, class? Yes, okay, so before we start or before we proceed to the next zone or the next topic, I have a short activity. You will just identify the picture of what is in the screen. Next. We, as you can see in the picture, what do you think is the picture? Is it a modern or a fossils? I think, ma'am, it is a fossil because of the texture okay, very and good. the... Very good, Miss Jenny. Next, next picture. What do you think is in the picture? Is it an igneous rock or an a sedimentary rock? Mr. Burbano. Yes, ma'am. Ano po yung pagpipilian? Sedimentary or? Igneous rock. Elementary yata yan eh. Okay, very good, Mr. Burbano. That is a sedimentary rock. Next picture. Ano ang nasa larawan? Is it a meteorologist or a paleontologist? Miss Trisha Joy Suarez. 
Ano po yung pagpipilian, ma'am? Meteorologist or paleontologist? Paleontologist po. Okay, very good, Ms. Suarez. So, sa, sa mga salitang yan ay matatalakay natin sa susunod nating aralin. So, let's proceed to the evolution. First, what is evolution? Evolution is the change of in the characteristics of the species over generation and relies on the process of natural selection. Ang evolution ay ang pagbabago ng mga namamanang katangian sa paglipas ng mahabang panahon. So, nakakita na ba kayo class ng mga fossils ng isang organismo? Yes po, ma. Sa mga museum po. Okay, so. Okay, so. Ang fossils ay. Exam, ang fossils ay isang halimbawa ng mga evidences na ginagamit ng mga paleontologists para mapag-aralan pa ng higit ang evolusyon. So, ang example, the example of fossils are the bones and the shell. They are traces of organisms that live in the past that will preserve by natural process or catastrophic event. So the next is the paleontologist. Um, the paleontologist is the person who study fossil. Ang paleontology naman ay ang pag-aaral ng fossils. So naiintindihan niyo ba kung anong pagkakaiba ng paleontology at paleontologist? Yes po, ma'am. Yes, paleontologist. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma paleontologist is the person who will study the fossil. Okay, so let's proceed to the next. Most of the fossils pala I found in, in the sedimentary rocks. We have here the two types of fossils, the compression and the impression. In compression is the fossils preserved in sedimentary rock that has undergone physical compression. Ang impression naman ay kabaliktarad ng compression. It is formed when a leaf or shell, skin or foot leaves an imprint in soft earth. Next. So, we have the two types of evolution. The divergent evolution and convergent evolution. The divergent evolution is splitting in an ancestral population into two or more subpopulations that are geographically isolated from one another. The convergent evolution is an increase in similarities among species derived from different ancestors as, as a result of similar adaptation of similar environment. As you can see in the picture, we have here, the example of divergent evolution, the elephant and the woolly mam mammals. They have shared, they have the same or they have the common ancestor, but they evolve individually. Convergent evolution, the example of that is the bird and the butterfly. As you can see, pareho silang may pakpak, pareho silang nakakalipad, pero magkaiba sila ng ancestor. But they can evolve individually then. So, nagigets ba ka, class? Yes po, ma. Okay, next.
Let's proceed to the next slide. We have here the theories of evolution. Do you familiar with John Baptist de la Mar class? Roxel Romero. Are you there? Oh. Okay, so let's proceed. Jean Baptiste de Lamarck is one of the best known early evolutionists. He believes that living things evolve in a continuously upward direction from dead matter through simple to more complex forms towards per perfections. So Jean Baptiste de Lamarck has three theories, the theory of needs, the theory of use and disuse, and the theory of acquired characteristics. So let's discuss the theory of needs. Theories of need states that organisms change in response to their environment. Their ability to survive help them develop characteristics necessary from them to adapt in a given environment. So class, una pa lang, or simula pa lang, naniniwala na si Lamarck na may ikli talaga yung leeg ng mga giraffe. Pero dahil sa kailangan nila makasurvive, ginamit nila yung leeg nila para maabot yung mga matataas na puno at para makakain. That time kasi nagkaroon ng kakulangan sa pagkain. The next theory is the theory of use and disuse. which according to Lamarck, organs not in use will disappear while organs in use will develop. Ayun kay Lamarck, may iksi na talaga yung leg ng mga giraffe. Inapply niya yung theory of use and disuse, which is, as you can see in the picture, sa unang giraffe, which is may clean yung leg niya, hindi niya ginamit yung leg, yung hindi niya ginamit kaya nag-disappear. So, well, the second giraffe, ginamit niya dahil sa kailangan nilang ma makasurvive. They keep on stretching hanggang sa na-develop at nag-grown up. Naintindihan niyo ba, class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, last theory of Lamarck is the theory of acquired characteristics. He states that parent animal could pass on to its offspring the characteristics it had acquired during its lifetime. Ang acquired characteristics ayon kay Lamarck ay na-develop na na yung leeg ng mga giraffe from maikling leeg to pahaba. Then, ang theory of acquired characteristic ay may pamamana sa susunod pang henerasyon ng mga giraffe. Dahil dito, ang leeg ng mga giraffe ay mahahaba. So, before we proceed class, I have a question. Pag nagpakulay ba kayo ng buhok, or nag-iba kayo ng kulay ng buhok, ma-adapt ba yun na magiging anak nyo soon? Hindi po. Pag gumamit pa kayo ng whitening soap, ma-acquired ba yun ng magiging anak nyo? Puputi din ba sila like yung pinaggagawa nyo sa katawan nyo? Hindi po. Hindi po. Hindi. So, Dahil doon, 
Madaming nag-disagree kay Lamarck. Isa na dito si Charles Darwin. Next. Charles Darwin. Familiar naman kayo kay Charles Darwin, di ba, class? Yes, yes po, ma. So, pag-usapang evolusyon, hindi nawawala si Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin was an English naturalist, geologist, biologist, best known for his contribution to the science of evolution. He's known for his famous theory, the theory of natural selection. So let's discuss the theory of natural selection. According to Darwin, giraffe species originally had varying neck lengths, but natural selection favored the survival of giraffe with longer necks that could feed on taller trees that were available. Giraffe with short neck were eliminated due to lack of accessible food supply. 50 years after Lamarck theory of use and disuse, Charles Darwin suggested the theory of natural selection. So ang theory of natural selection ay kung saan ang organismo na naka-adapt or nakaayon sa kapaligiran ay definitely makakasurvive at dahil dito sila yung may kakayahan or kakayahan na magparami or magkaroon ng bagong generation. Naintindihan nyo ba, class? Yung theory ni Charles Darwin? Yes po, ma'am. Okay, very good. Next. May question ba kayo, class, about sa discussion natin today? Sure, magkakaba ng paniniwala si Lamarck at si Darwin. Which is yung kay Lamarck na didevelop yung na didevelop yung leeg ng mga giraffe. Pero yung kay Darwin naman, which is ayun sa kanya, magkakaiba or hindi talaga parehas yung leeg ng mga giraffe. May mga maikli, may mga katamtaman at may mga mahaba talagang leeg. Do you understand, class? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any question? Yes, sa theory, theory, sa theories of evolution or sa biodiversity class? Okay, sin siguro wala na kayong question. Let's have a short activity. So each group will discuss the value of biodiversity and the theory of evolution. Write as many as you can, but please avoid repeated answer. I will give you 10 minutes to accomplish that activity. The students that will have most numerous answer will be given plus point. After you accomplish the activity, present your output. Okay, class. Na intindihan nyo ba yung activity natin? 
Yes, ma. Your group, ay, your, your class will be divided into three groups pala class. One of the group mates will present their answer. Okay. Do your activity in the class. Just 10 minutes. Are you done, class? Are you done, class? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, are you ready to present your Yes, ma'am. For your activity class. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's start yes, with the group one. Who's the representative? Who's the representative for group one? Domingo, ma'am. Oh, go ahead. Domingo. On behalf Domingo. of group one, I will re represent our group work. For group one, the value of the biodiversity in human life are ecological life support. Biodiversity provides functioning ecosystems that supply oxygen, clean air and water, pollination of plants, pest control, wastewater, treatment, and many ecosystem services. That's all, ma'am. Okay, very good, group one. You have a plus point, so quiz later. Next, group two. Who's the representative for group two? <laughs> Miss Katakutan, Miss Jenny, you're the representative for group two. For Mr. Burbano. No, po, ma'am. Ako na po magpusewa ni Mr. Burbano. Okay. Uh, Narinig ko ba ako? Yes, Miss Jenny. Narinig ko ba ako? Another is the recreation. So, many recreational Pursue really on our unique biodiversity, such as bird watching, hiking, camping, and fishing. Po. Okay, very good. Group two, my plus points in case of this later. So, last group, who will present? Is it Miss De La Cruz or Miss Romero? Ma'am, ako po. Go ahead. This mechanism has an implicit value. A selection entails a preference for certain states of affairs over others. Natural selection can be seen to strive to maximize survival or fitness. Thus, we take survival in the most general sense as the primary value. Okay, very good, group three. Give yourself a virtual clap because Lahat kayo alam kung ano yung value ng biodiversity sa life natin. So, since... May question ba kayo, class? Wala po. Since you don't have any question let's have a short quiz the quiz will 
answer in just 20, in just 15 minutes. The test one will be true or false, and the test two will be identification. Test two is two points each. Are you done, class? Are you done answering your quiz? Hey, guys. Yes, yes ma'am. Done na po. Okay. Okay. Check your own paper. I will flash the K answer for you. Just be honest. Okay? Flash the K answer. Okay, class, who got perfect score? Miss Katakuta. Me po, ma'am. Who got uh, perfect score? <laughs> yes, okay, ma'am. Okay, Miss Suarez, very good. Nakinig ka sa discussion ko because you got a perfect score. How about Miss yes, Romero? Sir. 19 lang po, ma'am. Hindi mo pinakinggan yung isang question, Miss Romero. Miss Domingo. Yes. Sorry po. Okay. Last. Um, last is the assignment. Direction, make or create a concept map about the difference of biodiversity and evolution. Write many, as many as you can. So, class, alam, I make a concept map. So, maybe sa PDF nyo na lang siya para hindi gulo-gulo. Pass it tomorrow morning in my gmail account i will send it later my gmail sa gc nyo by the way before i forgot let's have an application first. So, Miss Katakutan, can you answer my question? Yes, Ms. Katakutan, are you there? Yes, po, ma'am. Okay. Sure. Give some benefits of biodiversity in our daily living. Ma'am, some benefits of biodiversity in our daily living. Is it provides medicine, puma, food and not nutrition, security, energy development of medicines, and also the pharmaceuticals and fresh water, which together underpin good health. Okay, very good, Miss Kataputa. Next question, Miss Domingo. Mm -hmm. 
what what do you think will happen to us kung walang biodiversity kung walang puno kung walang halaman kung walang um, kahit ano tao lang ano mangyari sa atin yeah hindi po magiging balance lang kasi wala tayong nap napagkukuha ng pagkain or not, ano yung mga ginagamit natin for everyday life yun ma'am Okay, very good. Very good. Give your self a virtual clap because you did it class. Do you have any question about the topic about the assignment class? Romero. Miss Romero. Wala na po, ma'am. Okay, so wala na. That's all for today. Goodbye, class. See you Goodbye, tomorrow. Goodbye, ma'am. Thank you, po. Goodbye, Miss Suarez. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Goodbye, Puma. Bye, Mom. Goodbye. You are sorry. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye.